Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can create a blog page in your WordPress website like this. So here you can easily switch between posts like this and if you scroll down here and I have added some category wise post here like this. Here I have added the tools category here. Here I have added the affiliate marketing here. So this is the blog page and I can design the blog page according to my own choice. So here I am using the Cadence Blocks plugin and to add the tab functionality you need to use the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin. So Cadence is a fast loading theme and you can use the Cadence block to design your page in WordPress. So let's check how you can build a block page like this in your WordPress website. So for this I am going to log into my WordPress dashboard and I will go to the pages section here and I will click on add new. So as I have already created the blog page, so I can name it like blog2 and I am not going to publish this. So here I need to change some settings like I can set this blog page to full width and I can disable the page title here and or I can keep it as default or you can keep it as enable. And after that you need to add a row layout first. So let me just add the row layout here. And here I have added this single row layout. So I will click on this first section here. And after this I will click on plus and I will click on browse all. Now here you need to find a section like this post section. So let me just scroll off here post grid carousel. So you need to find this option here. So let's click on here and here I will select this third one. So let's click on here and let's click on this settings here and here I need to scroll down here and click on layout settings here and I will select the three column here. Now I will select the whole row layout here and I will click on this button and I will click on the use theme in our content width like this and I will keep it as full width. Now here as you can see that this section is added and here I want to filter it with categories. So what I can do that I will click on this block here and I can select this by filter by category. So let me just click on the affiliate marketing section here and as you can see that it will only show the blog post from affiliate marketing category. And let me just click on here and I will select the number of items to 3 like this. Now I can duplicate this section here and I will click on here and I will change the affiliate marketing category to something else like I will select the SEO category here like this. So the SEO category is added. Now I can add a heading to identify the sections according to your category. So what I can do is just click on this block here and I will click on the parent block here like this and I will click on insert before and I can add a heading here. So let me just add a advanced text here and I can say affiliate marketing and I can make it at center align. And I can adjust the color, I can change the background color here and here I can add a border like this. If I add a border like this, so let me just add a 2px border like this and let's keep the border radius to something like 10 pixel. As you can see that the heading is added and we have added the affiliate marketing blocks here. And I will copy this block like this and I will click on this block and I will click on insert before and I will paste it here and I can change the category to something like SEO and I can also link this headings to its category like I can select it here and here and in this general tab I will click on link here and I can add my SEO category link here so if I go to the website and I will go to SEO I will copy the link of this category and I can paste the link here like this so whenever someone click on this um, heading it will go to the seo category so i can do the same with affiliate marketing here so let's copy the link of affiliate marketing category here and i will go to general tab 
click on link setting and I will paste the link here. So let's hit enter and you can see that the affiliate marketing link is added. So let's click on here and you can change the link style to underline on hover and you can also do that here. So let's click on here link style to underline on hover. Let me just preview it in a new tab. And as you can see that the section is added, but here you need to add a little bit of padding just after the heading. Otherwise it will not looks good. So let me just quickly do that. So I will click on this heading here and here I need to find this padding option here. So I will go to advanced here. So sorry, we need to add the bottom margin here. So let's add the bottom margin to like extra small and I can do the same with the heading. Go to advance, add the bottom margin to extra small like this. Now let me just preview it again. And as you can see that there is a little bit of margin below the heading. And if I click on this button, it will take me to the affiliate marketing category. But here we need to fix these settings because the underline is not showing in a proper align. So we can also fix that in cadence blocks plugin. So I will click on the block here. Now I will scroll down here and I will search for that option footer meta and here you will see this option force to align bottom like this and I can also do the same with this block as well. I will click on footer meta here and I will click on force to align bottom like this. Let me just preview it here and as you can see that this line is aligned to the bottom. And you can also add pagination to this category if you want. So just click on here and let's scroll up here. And as you can see that you will see this option use pagination like this. Now let's again go to preview here. And as you can see that it will show a pagination like this. So you can easily explore different blog posts in the same category like this. Now let's check how you can add a tab functionality like this. So for this you need to use the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin and if you want to get this plugin then you can check the link in the description. So let's go to the post here and I need to add a tab functionality here. So I will click on here and I will add a row layout first and I will add the single row layout and I will click on plus here and I will click on browse all. Now here again we are going to use the post grid or carousel here. So let's click on here and here in this case I will select this style here like this and here I will click on the layout here and I will click the column to one and here I will go to the image settings here. So let's click on image settings here. And here I will change the image ratio to something like 16 is to 9 like this. Now we need to add the filter option here. So I will click on this display filter option here. So let me just enable it and let me just add the category option here. And I will again click on the display filter here and I will add something like blogging. And Again, I will click on the display filter here and I will add more items like I will add the blogger here. And again, go to the display filter and let's add in another category like uh, I will add WordPress. Now let me just preview it in a new tab. And as you can see that the tab functionality is now working, but you need to reduce the width so you can easily fix that. Just click on the row layout here, click on the huge theme content in our width like this and you can also add a background color if you want in the row layout. So let's keep it as full width and let's add a background color here like this. Okay, this one is looking good. So let me just preview it in a new tab and as you can see that that section is added like this. So user can easily filter out with different category like this and it will show the top 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the top 6 posts in this section. So you can increase the number of posts here. So you can change the number of item to something like 10. So it will add the recent 10 posts in this section and it will filter that 10 post according to its category like this. And you can also use the pagination if you want. If you don't want to use the tab, then you can use pagination. 
or you can use the field display filter here like this so i think the page is ready and if you want to add more section like this so let me just add an another category here so i will click on here and i will click on insert after and i will again add the row layout here and i will click on the plus button and i will select the post grid slash carousel and here you will get multiple options so in this case here i am choosing this one here and i will again click on the row layout i will click on use theme inner content width and after clicking on this block i can click on the layout setting here and i can add three column here like this and as you can see it is looking quite good and you can also add multiple options here you can change the post container like you can change the text alignment to center like this or you can keep it as left align you can also add a background color like this so i don't want this background color so you can easily adjust the background color according to your color in website and you can also add a container border here so you can change it to a dark black color like this and you can also add a box shadow around this box if you want and you can also change the header background you can change the content settings like you can change the padding margin of the content you can change the footer background here you can change the image so you can change the ratio of this image as you can see the image is cropping here so i am i will use this option in edit or i can use the landscape 16 is to 9 that's what the uh, the image dimension using in my website and you can also show category above the title and here you can change the link color link hover color so you will have complete control over the design in cadence blocks plugin and you can also show some below title meta like you can show date here you can show modified date here you can turn off author or you can disable it from here you can disable the category here and here you can add a read more button just after it and you can change the read more border like this and you can change the read more text so you can easily customize this section according to your choice and you can also add the pagination as we have discussed above so let's click on use pagination and you can name it like recent post so let me just preview it here again as you can see that the block page is ready and you can easily fix this by adding a negative margin so let me just show you in a minute so as you can see we have added the category section like this and as you can see you can use um, different style in your theme to show the categories or show the blog post in the blog page so if you want to fix this gap then you can also add a negative margin here so let's click on the whole rail row layout let's click on advance tab here and here you can add the margin so i will click on this button here and here i will add a negative margin of 25 like this now let's preview it again as you can see this gap is reduced and i can increase it to something like 28 let's preview it all right the block page is ready and in this way you can easily create a block page using the cadence blocks plugin and you can use the cadence block with other theme as well like in generate press or bloxy theme you can use the cadence blocks plugin in any theme in wordpress so i hope this video is helpful to you and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next video thank you